Hey everyone, so I just got my new Pearl Session Studio Classic kit set up here and I wanted to take a few minutes and show you guys what it sounds like. I'm going to be using the zoom mic so you get just kind of a one mic room feel of how the drums actually sound and then I'll also have it mic'd up and everything so you can hear kind of a studio uh, recording of them. Um, I know some of you are probably thinking why in the world does he have another kit? He's got way too many already. Well. This kit is not really for my home personal use as much as it is, as it is for Georgia State University kind of purposes. Um, I play drum set for the marching band there as well as the basketball band and so I have to have a kit to play on and now that I'm an official Pearl artist and everything um, I really wanted to get an amazing Pearl kit to play on and man this kit is incredible. Uh, I went with the Session Studio Classic because the Birch and Kapoor shells have a really beefy, really huge classic rock kind of tone to them and it's perfect for the large arenas and uh, the Georgia Dome and other places that I play the, uh, the drums with Georgia State's marching band. So I'm really excited to show you this. Uh, this kit actually has all of the stock heads on it that come with it. I haven't even changed out the heads yet. so know that um, it actually sounds really amazing even with just the stock heads on it. I didn't even touch the kick, didn't tune it in any way at all, just set it down there and I'm about to kick it. And I did a little, little tuning on the toms and the snare and yeah, so let's rock. I've got a single um, Pearl Power Shifter Eliminator pedal on the kick so don't expect any double bass action. Just uh, single pedaling it up today. Let's have some fun.
right, so I hope you enjoyed that sound test. Um, I sure did. Uh, it was really awesome to play this kit for the first time. Um, I've uh, I've loved these kits for a long time, so it's it's really cool that I finally have one and, and I can play it. And uh, I think it's really going to be an awesome kit for Georgia State University marching band and basketball band. And it's also a great session kit and a great gig kit. Live shows with this kit are going to be fantastic. And I mean, my export kit that I have back here is an amazing kit too, but for a little bit more, you can get something that is has just even more beef to it. The, the Asian mahogany in the export sounds great, but these shells have even more beef and even more just absolute monsterness to the <laughs> to the drums. I know that's not a very good uh, good. It's not actually a word, but I just created it to describe these drums. So yeah, a little bit about the setup: um, 10 by 7 rack tom, 12 by 8 rack tom, 16 by 14 inch floor tom. All three of the toms are a little shallow depth compared to your normal sizes and that just really improves attack, that gives you just a beefier, quicker tone and um, I love the shallow depth because I can mount them a lot easier. I can keep them lower over the bass drum, I can put them where I want to and it's a lot easier to work with that. Then the kick is an absolute monster. You can get a 24 by 15 inch, which I didn't get because it won't fit into my flight case that uh, we use at Georgia State University, but I got the 22 by 16, so once again a little bit shallower, and what that does is it just gives you punch, gives you that attack, gives you that, that beefiness, but not too much, like, not too much boominess, and it's just a, a nice quick tone. And then you can get the shell pack without a snare, or you can add on a snare. I added on the color matching 14 by five and a half inch snare. And I thought about getting like the Chad Smith signature or, or a few different other snares, but I just love the finish so much and I love the sound of these drums that I wanted to go with the, the matching snare drum. And I'm really happy I did because it sounds great. There's so much crack to it, so much liveliness, so much pop. And I'm just using the stock heads. Like these aren't even nice heads on here yet. They're they're good heads. They're Remo heads, but they're just the ones that come on the set. And so once you put on, like I'm probably gonna put on some pinstripes and an Emperor X, and uh, this this bad boy is just gonna be banging. I'm so excited. So yeah, that's the drums. Um, a little bit about the cymbals, just to address it. 14 and a quarter inch K Custom Hybrid hats. 11 inch K Custom Hybrid splash. 17 and 19 inch K Custom Hybrid crashes. 21 inch K Custom Hybrid Ride, 19 inch K Custom Hybrid Trash Mash, which is like a cr cross between a crash and a china kind of sound, just a little bit of a dirtier crash. All those are Zildjian, as well as my two Zildjian Oriental Trash uh, Chinas, 12 inch over here, 16 inch over there. And uh, yeah, using some Vic First Sticks and rocking out. Um, thanks for checking out the kit. I had a blast playing it for you guys, and I'm about to play it some more. In fact, I'm about to do an Avenged Sevenfold cover. But by the time you see this, the Avenged Sevenfold cover will already be out, so you can check it out right here if you would like. Thanks for watching, and have an awesome day. See ya.